Hey, welcome back to Branching Out. We're in the greenhouse this weekend. I'm just tidying up, doing a few chores in here. Uh, like I have to put um, a patch over this hole, over this door over here to prevent some of this loss of heat that I'm creating. Um, yesterday, it was a really sunny day and it was 25 degrees in here. Today, it's really cloudy, which is not allowing my solar panel to really get enough juice to really draw the air out. But as the sun gets brighter, the solar panel will get more power. The more power it gets, it'll push it to the fan, allowing the right amount of airflow to come through. So right now it's running very slow, allowing it the air to heat up slowly in here because there's not a lot of heat. When it gets really sunny, it'll go a lot faster, allowing the heat, to, uh, the air to heat quicker because it's flowing through the tubes quicker. It's pretty simple math. Um, like I said, we were just going to go around. It's 10 degrees in here today, and we want to shut up that. And then I'm going to show you around a little bit and show you what I'm doing in the greenhouse, getting prepped and ready for spring. It's a little bit of a mess because it's kind of an ongoing plan here. It's just kind of uh coming to fruition as i think of things so let's get on with that first i want to get that patch in the door over here and uh then we'll take some closer looks at the solar air heater which is so great i can't wait to see how much air it actually or can heat or how hot it can be but we need a sunny day to test that and we also need a place to put that heat so I'll show you, uh, my other one is some of these uh, water bottles that I've uh, been painting black and filling with water, but that can only do so much. So there's gotta be more plans and more ways to do it. So when one fails, two other work. So we'll definitely do some redundancy here. So let's take a look around. All right, so trying to mimic the, uh, the outdoors uh, on how all the plants are being taken care of. The snow covers it, makes the ground frozen, but also when it thaws even ever so slightly, it allows water to um, add moisture to the ground. Whether the trees are absorbing it or not, I still just throw some snow on the top, which is probably enough water to keep them going for a little bit. Because when it, yesterday it was 25 degrees in this greenhouse and it was sunny out. 25 degrees, which these things look really, really dry. So again, I would have buds coming out on the lilacs already. So you can see these, these lilacs are budding. So we just wanted to make sure that there was enough water in here to make sure they don't die of thirst. So right now it's only 10 degrees in here. This is my thermometer over here as you can see 10 degrees now if i keep it at 10 degrees that'd be all right but it does dip below zero on the coldest of nights right so this is my watering system here i fill this toad up and then i use that for watering the plants that are in here or that where water may be needed we have all of these are black water bottles i painted them all black to absorb the sunlight to heat up and release overnight, but there's not enough of them yet. So I only have, you know, I don't know, 30 or 40, but I need like 70 because as you can see, I'm missing a whole bunch. Now I can place these in and around everything. So we'll just try to keep that thermal mass up. And then later on in the future, hopefully we can get this uh, heater working really well. And we're gonna put in a trench all the way down the middle I don't know, I haven't decided how big or um, what to do, but I'd definitely try to throw a pipe in a perforated pipe with maybe some type of uh, porous rock on top or larger type stones or rock to um, absorb that heat through the day. And this will help heat it up as well as the sun. And then heat the earth here so it'll widen out as it'll go further into the ground allowing that heat to keep that heat in the ground to uh, release overnight. So that's all we got to do. So what we want to do though right now is there's a hole in this wall or in this door up here. We want to get up there and we're going to fix that to try and help 
eliminate some of the heat loss because it definitely sometimes when that wind blows it blows right on in here and it's man some of that wind chill like right now it's like zero degrees but it's minus eight with the wind chill so and then we got on this side here too we just got all our pots this is our seed tables pump storage for filling our totes and uh yeah all the pots we could need this year i'll be getting definitely like a you know 10 10 yards of potting soil i'm not going to get topsoil again this year that stuff just goes hard on you i did try to make it with topsoil mixed with perlite and a few other things but again that's this stuff here and it's it's really hard it just becomes really hard so i'm not going to use that stuff got our air layering balls right here we're definitely going to be getting into that this year as well and this is our solar system thing over here again this is my water pump that's supposed to be attached to my inverter here but my inverter is only 3,000, and that pump needs a minimum of 3500 watts to start its pumping and then it comes down to 2500 i believe and there's only two batteries in it so i do have to get more batteries and at 200 dollars a battery uh, I've been kind of holding back. So until I get monetized, that's going to be probably on hold for now or I'll be using it for what I can. So I was also hoping to run a string of incandescent light bulbs to help warm up these bottles over here through the day, through the night, and just keep it warm all the way along one side at least or on both sides. We'll see how, how large a string I can run and for how long. So let's get first things first. Let's get that first project out of the way. So let's do some Hollywood magic here. Okay, so this wasn't my best attempt at doing something like this. So there's probably a 2.0 coming in the future for sure. But for now, this is gonna have to do. So it might help keep some of the air out. It's definitely uh, with the uh, with it being covered like that, the wind is definitely trying to suck it back out and make it open up and stuff like that. But so when I go, I'll definitely have my board in there to keep it shut. But it's going to cut off some of the air that's coming in here. I don't know how much warmer I can make this greenhouse. I'm going to try everything. So we need more water bottles filled with water. We need some kind of thermal battery definitely so the heating is not necessarily the problem it's uh holding the heat so yeah that's about it for that so that project is done there's not much i can do this weekend i just wanted to do a quick video and uh definitely stay tuned i don't you know next week's supposed to be a lot warmer weather which is kind of screws up my testing for the solar air heater there but we can at least see what's coming in and what's coming out by you know gauging the temperature that it's pulling and releasing so definitely want to check it out you guys all have a good week come back next week we'll try and do a better video